Hello everybody, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Uh, weird, I restarted Steam and just got like 30 achievements for Wrath of the Lamb. Not sure what's up with that, but you know, it's good to have your efforts finally recognized, I suppose. But in any case, we have a to-do list here. We've got a bunch of challenges, uh, none of which I particularly like. But let's go with Large Marge. Large Marge, of course, being Curse of the Labyrinth. And uh, we're already off to a bad start because we're starting on the cellar. But I will do my best to try to make sure that I get a key so I can open some treasure rooms. Because we should have treasure rooms on this challenge, I believe. Uh, I did try this once before, I just failed it miserably. Uh, and, you know, also, not to get hit by a thousand spiders. But anyway, we'll see what we come across. In general, I think Large Marge is not that difficult. Oh man, that spider. That quite the jump on him. Boy, he's got hops. Uh, what the hell was I even trying to say there a second ago? I've told you. Oh, I think that Large Marge is not that difficult of a challenge. Like, not that much more difficult than your normal run. As long as you can, you know, get a foothold and get started. Get some good items going. And then from there, uh, you know, build into it. Because it's not that different from a standard run. In fact, I think it might be possible, actually, that you could just get the Curse of the Labyrinth three times in a row, you know, in your own right. Four times in a row, I suppose. And, you know, basically have your own homemade Curse of the Labyrinth Large Marge style run. Large Marge, of course, a reference to Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I can't remember if it's Pee-wee's Big Adventure or Pee-wee's Big Top. I am going to use a bomb to get the matchstick. Of course, bad investment right now because I don't have any bombs, but the matchstick will pay for itself with respect to bombs very shortly, I assume. Yeah, so it is a reference to one of those Pee Wee Herman movies from like the early 90s, late 80s. I can't remember which one though. Both Tim Burton directed though, I feel. I don't know. It's been a long time. This is way before Dark Shadows anyway. Let's move ourselves onwards here. I have a feeling bombs are not going to be a problem anymore. We do have one key. Which, you know, as I like to say, is a start. We're not in a terrible position on the key front. Certainly not in a great position either. There. Oh, yeah, we got him out. Okay. I hate dealing with the spiders like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got a second key. Awesome. Assuming there are treasure rooms, we will be able to visit two of them and hopefully get ourselves started. I mean, the last run I did, uh, Today Was a Good Day or Isaac Was Good Today challenge. Uh, I did it without getting a spacebar item at all through the entire video. And not for lack of trying, I went to like five shops. But it all worked out in the end, I guess, because we did have that flying brimstone combination that is just too good. But I would like to, you know, rectify that here, get some kind of a spacebar item at the very least. Uh, I'm gonna have to shoot this fire before we do anything else. Blessing in disguise, because it will allow us to get some extra money as well. Excellent. There is, wow, another Tinted Rock, which gives us another key, which is okay, I guess. Hey, we got the Relic, that is great! We are going to get, like, one Spirit Heart drop every six rooms for, like, the duration of our life. That is a fantastic item to get. I don't care who you are, Relic is one of the most solid passive items in the game. It's like having uh, a Book of Revelations, basically, without wasting your spacebar item. I think it's once every six rooms anyway, but... Either way, it is it is a solid, solid item. No bombs with which to pop that bad boy open. But... I digress and we will continue. We could fight the double boss room right away, but I would rather... Uh, find the second treasure room, you know, just to give myself maximum odds. Because we could run into some difficult bosses. Worst case scenario, we get like, Fallen Widow. One and two, uh, which would be pretty rough. But it, hopefully that, that nightmare situation doesn't come to pass. Kind of hate this room layout. But I'm just, you know, biding my time here. Of course, the more spiders you kill, the easier it becomes. It's basically... I, maybe it's all in my head. I don't think these guys are that much more difficult than, than hoppers. But for some reason, I seem to have a more... A substantially difficult problem with them. Come on, get... I'm trying- yeah, there we go! Okay, this is always a little bit harrowing. Get out of there, spider- get out of- I don't want to get close to you- oh, we got one out, okay. Somehow we freed one. Let's go after this dude. This dude seems smarter than his- ah, than his compadre over there, come on! Okay, always a little bit stressful for me. Hey, spirit heart drop. Thank you, Relic. 
We got Mulligan. Now, I think someone has finally explained to me how the fuck Mulligan works so I can stop spouting misinformation. Mulligan works, uh, every time you hit something you get a chance to spawn a fly around yourself. Which is why it's so OP in combination with something like Technology 2, because you're constantly hitting things with Technology 2, provided your accuracy isn't, you know, total garbage. So, uh, that is the secret, I suppose, of the Mulligan. So I guess we're on the lookout now for Technology 2. Not that we can do anything really to increase our chances of finding it, but, you know, it's a, it's a fairly common item, I think. You can find it, I think I've found it from boss rooms, I think I've found it from devil rooms, definitely found it in libraries, and I think maybe also in secret rooms or shops? I don't know. But it seems like one of those items that is definitely, you know, all around us. We'll just a couple more hits on pin, there we go. Speed upgrade, not that important, at least not yet, but who knows, maybe I'll run into a speed down pill. And the Widow. I feel like Pin Widow is like, by far the most common combination for uh, cellar double boss rooms. That's fine. We should exit here with uh, another good passive upgrade, usually. Ah, that was bad of me, but that's okay. Just losing Spirit Hearts, and those are easily replenishable, although I should really try to avoid taking damage, because uh, I will need those for the Womb. Or, you know, Mom, or whoever we, we end up finishing the challenge against. Because some of these end on Mom's heart, some of them end on the womb, or the cathedral, and some of them end on Mom herself. So we got Jesus Juice, which is range and tears, and as I said in the last video, apparently is also a damage up, but because, like, the description of what it does is too long, uh, we, we can't see it. So that's fine. Range and tears and damage up is, is good. We'll pray that we don't die on this room. Alright, excellent. Always a little bit of a harrowing time on this room when you can't fly or don't have the ladder. Because you can easily get, like, hemmed into one position. So I guess I will be focusing mainly... I think my health is going to be fine, provided I don't take a ton of dumb, dam dumb damage. Uh, I'll be focusing mainly on damage upgrades, if I can find those in the shop. Spirit Heart is always worthwhile. Um, yeah, like... Rage... Oh, fuck. Okay, let's, let's waste a bomb here. Just to make sure I can get out of this without taking damage. Because otherwise things might have been a little hairy, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Better safe than sorry though. We got more bombs, we got tons of money here. We got extra keys, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, Rage would be good here, obviously I've already mentioned Technology 2 would be fantastic. What else could we have that would, that would really blow the doors open in our run here? Um... Obviously, Brimstone or Mom's Knife. Other than that, just like Pentagram, uh, all stats up upgrades would obviously be good. I mean, when are those ever bad? I can't believe I got hit there. Come on, cut me some slack here. Shop is almost becoming a viability. I mean, there's there are times when it is viable before 15 cents. But it is almost always viable at 15 cents, unless you run into a Greed. That fly was really good. Uh, or... You know, just items that you can't really use, like a double flying ability. Although I've purchased uh, <laughs> Holy Grail basically every time I see it, just for the health upgrade. I feel like 15 cents for a heart container, when there's nothing else available, is not so bad. So again, more spirit hearts. Can't believe I got hit by a fly on that room, that is pretty damn depressing actually. Where were you, blue fly? You're supposed to help me out in those situations. I treat you like a princess and you stab me in the back. Probably the worst The Room impression I've ever done. My Tommy Wiseau impression used to be pretty solid. It's probably been like close to... Eh, maybe I guess close to a year since I've seen that movie though, so I'm getting a little rusty. But I do own the DVD box set of the Tommy Wiseau. Sorry, I couldn't finish that sentence without laughing. Alright, so we got Speedball, that is speed plus shot speed plus something else that we can't see because it's off the screen. That's cool. DPS is going through the roof right now. My pupils are super dilated. If I overdose, please do not hesitate to jam an adrenaline needle into my chest. I understand you gotta do what has to be done. Can't believe I didn't take damage on that room. Feels good to say that for once. And Fly is tearing it up pretty well here. Still feel like a Technology 2 would be a sick drop if you're listening, Troll Engine. Actually, if the troll engine is listening, it'll probably give me, like, Ipecac. So maybe I should relax on that front. 
Getting a lot of comments lately that are like, Hey Northern Line, you know there's no troll engine, you just suck at Isaac, right? Q Rainier Wolfcastle, that's the joke. But, you know, you know, feel free to continue posting your comments. I appreciate your cooperation. There's a little bit of a five center for us. We got more money. We got more money. A little bit harrowing, but we managed to get through that without too much difficulty. So shop is worthwhile, but I would rather go to the treasure room, of course. So hopefully we'll find a key at some point along the way. Wow, there's another nickel. God damn. Sacrifice room. Uh, no thank you. I don't want to lose my spirit hearts. Women's intuition is right yet again, so I will visit this item room that I just found. Matchstick paying out well. Luckfoot, alright, can't complain. Um, when I said matchstick's paying out well, I mean there's been a lot of bomb drops recently, so... I feel like I'm okay on that front. Not many tinted rocks, unfortunately. There is a boss room, which I don't understand how to enter. But hopefully we will figure that out at some point. More money yet again. And again, I'm feeling like I probably should have gone to the shop instead of the item room. I make this, it's not really a mistake, but I make this improper decision, or less than ideal decision every time, I feel. Where I'm always like, let's go to the treasure room, because the treasure room, if there's a good item, you don't have to spend any money. But at the shop, when you have money like 26 cents, it's quite a lot. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, we'll make our way back there. It might take a while, but that gives me time to finish my train of thought. Uh... It's a pretty simple conclusion that I was coming to, and that was mostly that if you have a lot of money, you can go to the shop, buy a good item, and then just buy a key as well, because those often appear there. So we'll get this ladder. I feel like the Spirit Heart is worth five cents as well. Uh, and then we should be able to get three more cents, yeah, immediately, just by picking up that ladder. There's probably a bunch of hearts over here that I can pick up now. If I found an arcade... We could probably get ourselves another heart container as a result of the blood bank, just because there's an insane degree of hearts on the screen right now. Alas, that is not the case, and that is not in the cards. So ladder is like, just to tide me over until I gain the ability to fly, which, if we're going by standard Wrath of the Lamb protocol, should be in like, you know, maybe two boss rooms. Oh, I forgot we had double bosses here as well. So we're going to start with a champion version of Peep, who's going to shoot both eyes right off the bat. Don't foresee this being an impossible fight by any stretch of the imagination. But it would be nice, of course, to get more flies kind of proccing here. Because those are my main damage dealers, I think. Like, I'm doing okay damage. Not good damage, okay damage. But my flies really are, are where the, the magic's happening. Unfortunately, my flies are also dumb and oftentimes aim for the eyes instead of the vulnerable body of peep. Almost took some duh <laughs> So disappointing, I was like, almost took some dumb damage there! God damn it! Self-fulfilling prophecies! Okay. I can dodge these. That's not an issue. Why am I tempting fate again? I still I think Peep might be more shitty to me than Gertie now. I really do not like fighting Peep. I'm not sure why. I think the range on the eyes. Like the hitbox on the eyes is all messed up for me. Hey, there's tears and health up though, so I don't feel so bad about losing spirit hearts there. Then we got Fistula. What's up, Fistula? I know you. We spent some time together before. This is when Rage would feel like a fantastic item to have. Maybe we will get a, a deal with the devil on this floor. I mean, we haven't taken a whole lot of damage, I think. Maybe we have taken a whole lot of damage. But it's been twice as big as your standard floor, so I should be able to take twice as much damage. I'm guessing that the game and I share different opinions on that. Ah! Ah, oh, he got me. I know I'm so easily startled by Isaac now. He used to be a stone cold killer. Okay, there is tears up again. And two more spirit hearts, okay. I would actually love to fight Krampus here too. Yeah, okay, cool. Time to put my money where my mouth is, I guess. Flies, obviously, will be able to do quite a number on him because he basically just stands fucking still and allows me to do a ton of damage to him. I feel like Relic might proc a spirit heart here as well. It's amazing how much the difficulty changes in Isaac have just become the norm now. Like, 
It used to be like, oh shit, okay, finish this hard boss fight. Amazing, I gotta deal with the devil, that's gonna turn things around. Oh shit, boss fight, I'm dead. But now it's like, hey, you know what, I would actually like to fight Krampus right now. Fighting Krampus can be kind of a pain in the ass, but his damage upgrade is worth it, especially if you've got nothing else going on for you. No relic proc, unfortunately. We'll head down to the next floor with decent amount of cash, but no keys, unfortunately. Definitely going to an XL, obviously, because it's large marge, and my game is lagging slightest bit here. Perhaps more than the slightest bit. There we go. <laughs> it figured it out. Not sure what's going on with that. Again, not to brag or anything, but I am running this on what most people would consider to be like a gargantuan PC. So this is certainly not a... At least a, if it's a tech problem on my end, it's not a problem with respect to like the brute force that I have. Chariot card on room full of leapers. Definitely, uh, you know, there's worse uses for that card. Take out room full of guts. I'm kind of worried for uh, the womb XL or, you know, utero XL. I think that is going to be our biggest problem, unless, you know, there is always the chance. Good, that key is very important. Always the chance that we will not have to uh, do the womb XL in, in case this just ends with mom's fight, but. I'm gonna visit this because I want to get some uh, trinkets. Yeah, okay, throw my life away. Thanks, Mom. Hey, there we go. Crystal ball, spacebar item. What does this do? I don't know. Well, we will find out. Finally, I've ended my spacebar item drought. Definitely pick those up. Crystal ball. Whoa, I can see everything, and also it gave me a spirit heart, which is good because I just lost one. Because I can see everything now. Okay, well, there's the boss room. We're aware of that now. That seems like a decent item, especially considering, you know, I was just saying the womb part, the, the womb XL scares the shit out of me. Now we can figure out where the boss room is as soon as possible. I'm still looking at the map. I'm trying to memorize it so I don't miss it uh, in case it disappears when we leave this room. So we got, okay, two treasure rooms on the far right side, boss room directly above us. And another spirit heart, awesome. Oh, no, it just, okay, it's revealed forever. Wow, that's like having a map and a compass. All rolled into one convenient little package. So we'll come over here. You know, bomb here to take out a zombie. Might not be the worst idea. Makes our life easier. Two zombies, one zombie, no problem. You get into the three zombie range, you're gonna have a little bit of an issue. That affection is harder to put down. Okay. Survive that. Still don't have very good damage, to be honest with you. But I'm making it work. I got solid health. That is... Cancer, which gives us, it doubles our tier rate, but we already have, I think, insane rate of fire, so I don't feel like that is super important right now. Matchstick also is going to continue giving us bombs, which has worked out well for us historically. Especially if we do manage to come across some tinted rocks for the first time in, like, three floors. Seriously, brain dude, I need to kill you. I hate turrets more than anything else in this world. Okay, now we can visit both treasure rooms. We'll use a bomb to open this chest. Containing more money, which makes the shop again worthwhile. But of course, because I am an idiot, I am going to go to both treasure rooms instead of the shop, despite having all this money. We got some Zombros here. Let's toss in a bomb. Okay, let's never do that again. The flies are useless against these fucking zombies, because they just like bump into the chrome skeleton. Hey boss, did I do a good job? No, you didn't do a good job. You did a terrible job, and you should feel bad about yourself. So I guess Crystal Ball is kind of like Book of Revelations as well. Like, if it recharges now... Oh, it gives you something different. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, we're definitely going to use that Joker card as well, because that takes us... Oh my god! Ermagerd Technology 2! Uh, so we should have incredible flies now. But what I was going to say is we should, we'll definitely use this Joker card. Because that takes us to either a deal with the devil or deal with the angel room. Poison touch, not that solid. Joker card. Deal with the angel. Tears upgrade as well as spectral tears. Cool beans, bro. Uh, we don't have a key to go to the shop, which kind of sucks. But we do have a lot of other things going for us right now, to say the least. Drop a key. Drop a key. Oh, you know what? The Spirit Heart is pretty good, too. I'm going to continue doing a little exploring here. I want to get a key and go to the shop. Forgot that I had Spectral Tears. Wow. This is going to be not hard, I feel. 
Another tears upgrade. Remember, I got the luck foot as well, so I'm not as worried about like bad tears and shit like that. More money. All right, I, I, I kind of don't want to explore the entirety of this floor. Uh, I kind of want to make sure that I'm using the crystal ball appropriately. There we go. Whoa, man. Spirit heart drops like crazy. I feel like the last minute, everything has just started going my way. So we will make our way into the shop here. Maybe fight greed. If so, no hard feelings. Okay, like I said, no hard feelings, you big piece of garbage. We'll kill him easily. Give us a chance to spawn more flies. Hey! Crystal Ball's ready again. Tarot card for the sun. Crystal Ball seems pretty goddamn cool. Uh, gives you a view of the entire map. And then also acts as like a super powered Book of Sin. Alright, first things first, we're fighting war. This should be, uh, to put it lightly, pretty darn easy. Yeah, he is already in his terrible state. We'll get a cube of meat, which is not a good item to get. Never mind, we'll just get nothing, I guess, which is fine, too. Uh, okay. We'll be fighting Mom here. Uh, I'm not gonna use my Sun card. Sun card gives us full health, so I almost feel like it would be better to save it and use it as almost like a full health pill. Mom is very nearly dead already. Wow, Mom is dead already. And that will be the end of this run! His mother. Wow. Uh, I bet you guys did not expect two like 25 minute runs or 22 minute runs in one day and both of them were successful and it's possible as I do my post Isaac stretch here that both of these videos won't get uploaded in the same day but you know what I mean um, I'm just gonna wait for the song to finish and then I'm gonna check my challenges and see what I have left I think I have the purest and seven years bad luck but otherwise they are very nearly done good run of form today can't complain about that at all Yep, Fistula Gertie, Low Key, and Monstro 2. I'm familiar with them. Beautiful cankles. So we should be exiting. Okay, cool. Uh, challenges. Purest seven years bad luck. All right, we are almost done with the challenges. What about stats? What are we missing here? I'm still missing ten secrets. Hmm, okay. In any case, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.